Hello there. My name is Eric Charles Hawkinson. I'm a researcher and educator living in North Kyoto in Japan. And today I'd like to introduce and talk about some uh, e-learning courses and platforms that I've been developing. Uh, the site is called Together Learning Center, TLC. I've uh, put a couple of courses that I've developed recently into this site. It's built on the latest version of Joomla 3.14 currently, and it employs a responsive web design. So this is made specifically for mobile devices, even though it can be seen on PC as well. For example, these these items look pretty big. Uh, a lot of lots of big font that might look a little bit strange on a PC, but on a, an iPhone it's going to look something like this. The menus are now drop down so you don't fat finger them. The modules have now cascaded down. The images resize and it looks it looks great on mobile devices. And every item that I've created for this site is made specifically for mobile learning and it's tested mainly on mobile devices. So a couple of features on this site. It's uh, mainly just two languages right now, Japanese and English. Most of the courses on here so far are just English courses for Japanese learners. I've integrated the Facebook API. Let's see if we can log in here using my Facebook credentials. I spent uh, quite a bit of time on the Facebook developer site. There's a couple of other functions that I've integrated into Facebook and Twitter. So now it shows my name. I'm logged in. And uh, just going to show you some of the courses here. Let's go to courses. These are all original courses that I've made, uh, textbooks that I'm developing and these are e-learning portions to go along with the textbook and courses that I'm teaching for various uh, organizations. This is a travel English uh, course, a short course basically for fun for false beginners of English from the Japanese language. Uh, it's an eight-week course roughly. It can be done with or without an in-class version that I teach two or three times a year for anyone and everyone as a part of my university's uh, community outreach programs. Um, it's in a sort of like a, a MOOC type style setting so you can start out with an orientation where it asks you to uh, do a couple of d different things like uh, join a community message board system. This is now that you're logged in Using Facebook, it integrates with it to pull some data from Facebook, for example, your status updates and uh, things like that. This is uh, some status updates that I put on Facebook a while back. So this is like a community board, but Facebook at the same time. So this is uh, only logged in users can see this portion of the website. and. Uh, it's like being a friend of sorts on Facebook as well. Some of the activities, let's see, let's see if I can show you some of the activities on the, the course itself. Let's go to the Travel English site again. Works much like a MOOC. I'll just start off with the first chapter here. Start off with some learning objectives here. It mainly starts with a uh, self-introductions. Start off with some vocabulary, flashcards. You can scroll to these or it will do it automatically. You can just go back and forth to previous and next learning points. Just a little tidbit about introduction culture. And here I've integrated some uh, Slideshows with a learning point. This is all HTML5, and you can uh, swipe through it with your finger on a mobile device. And on PCs, you can use these navigation buttons to flip through, and you can listen to the dialogue as you're going through. Stop, start it, 
restart it as many times as you like. And there are some points here too. And after you've done a little bit of that, right below that is a quiz. You can answer these questions and finish it, and I will post it on a message on your own personal profile. So it will show you what quizzes you've completed, what score you have. Let's see here, my quizzes. So I've already completed this quiz. You can see the feedback and uh, your questions right or wrong. This is also integrated into Facebook. So every time you complete a quiz, it'll upload the completion to your Facebook wall so all your friends can see that you've completed that quiz. And it also integrates into the uh, Facebook app, which uh, is also connected to the Facebook uh, public page, which is like, that looks like this. Also integrated is Twitter. Uh, in, tweets that come in and out or are displayed on the website as, long, as well as uh, status updates in the community get sent to Twitter as well. Now this is also integrated with iTunes U uh, to uh, be more readily available because the site I made is based on HTML5 only and I wanted it to be as widely as used as possible, but uh, this offers some uh, more widely used and uh, acceptable formats and also being able to be searched in iTunes U and have that point back to my learning website is probably very, very advantageous. So that was designed in iTunes U Course Manager you can enroll in the course. I've just made it public and to do that I had to publish it to a school which I was made uh, administrator of my university and I published that out to the school which is available in iTunes U as you can see here it's only the only course available at the university and if you went to it it would basically show the same things I just showed you before uh, dialogues uh, uh, images and uh, for all the quizzes it would send you directly right back to the website to finish those up. In the future I'm going to be pulling more data from Facebook to try and get some adaptive learning going. Uh, I'm not quite sure that's going to work just yet. Uh, some other things I'm working on some new content and uh, I'm hoping getting not only with the Facebook graph uh, integration every time uh, you for example start enroll a new course take a new course and do several other actions I'd like that to be represented on Facebook and Twitter as well but that takes a bit of uh, developing and testing and uh, Facebook actually needs to approve those type of functions to be able to post to people's walls. So that also a couple of those functions are still being uh, left to be approved by the developers at, or the people that work at Facebook. So yeah, that's my new distance learning website, Together Learning Center. If you have any questions or you'd like to collaborate on it or do some research using it, please contact me on my portfolio website, which is Eric Charles Hawkinson dot I'm sorry, Eric Hawkinson dot com. All right, thank you.